What up, YouTube? Eternity with God here again. A very important video right here. Um, straight from the Word of God Himself. Water, I made a video the other day about can uh, does being baptized save a person? Here is evident proof right here that no, it does not. I don't know how much storage is on this phone, so let's hope to God that it uh, records this whole thing. It's important. says it right here water baptism I don't know how to read it it's a different type of Bible name. so if you guys know what that is all right water baptism when a believer is baptized he's telling the world he belongs to Christ water baptism does not say does not make a person a Christian it shows he has put his trust in Christ who died and was buried but arose from the grave. Romans chapter 6 verse 3 to 5 says, All of us were baptized to show we belong to Christ. We were baptized first of all to show his death. We were buried in baptism as Christ was buried in death. As Christ was, was raised from the dead by the, the great power of God, so we will have new life also. If we have become one with Christ in his death, we will be one with him in being raised from the dead to new life. Galatians chapter 2 verse 12 says, When you were baptized, you were buried as Christ was buried. When you were were raised up in bat baptism, you were raised as Christ was raised. You were raised to new life by putting your trust in God. It was God who raised Jesus from the dead. The Word of God tells us we meet, must be sorry for our sins. That regret that I've talked about in my videos before accepting Jesus as Lord and Savior. And turn from them and put our trust in Jesus, believing his trusting completely with all your heart and mind and soul that he died for your sins, was buried, and rose again on the third day. Be sorry for your sins and turn from them and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and your sins will be forgiven. Acts chapter 2 Verse 41a says, Those who believe what he said were baptized. Acts chapter 8 verse 12b says, Both men and women put their trust in Christ and were baptized. Christ told his followers to teach and baptize all nations. Mark chapter 16 verse 15 says, He, Christ, said to them, You are to go to all the world and preach the good news to every person. He who puts his trust in in me and is baptized will be saved from the punishment of sin. Matthew 28 verse 19 says, Go and make followers of all the nations. Baptize them in the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The word baptism means to dip into, cover up, or go under. Acts chapter 8 verse 38, 39 says, Then both Philip and the men from Ethiopia went down into the water and Philip baptized them. When they came up out of the water, the Holy Spirit took Philip away. It is a picture of the believer being buried as Christ was buried and being raised as Christ was raised. It shows the believer is putting away the old life as in death and being raised to new life with Christ. Only a person who has put his trust in Christ should be baptized. So that we're saying so that right there means being baptized as a baby means nothing. Water baptism often takes place when a new Christian becomes a part of the church where he will worship he or she. In many countries, a Christian is not talked against or hurt until he is baptized. Then his family and others often make it very hard for them and may even bring about his death. The Lord's Supper, 
who should eat the Lord's Supper? Only persons who have been saved from sin should eat the Lord's Supper. A child should not take part in this worship unless he has been saved and understands what it means. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 24-25 There is danger for anyone eating the Lord's Supper if he, his spirit is not right with the Lord. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 29 and 30 says, Anyone who eats the bread and drinks from the cup, if his spirit is not right with the Lord, will be guilty as he eats and drinks. He does not understand the meaning of the Lord's body. This is why some of you are sick and weak and have died. The important thing is to give everything right with God. Get, is to get everything right with God and then worship the Lord. Nowhere in God's word does it say that, that eating the Lord's Supper takes away sins. Only by faith and trust through Jesus Christ, in Jesus Christ, can save us from our sins, can save you from hell. If we place our faith and trust a whole heart on Jesus Christ's sacrifice, death, burial, and resurrection... We will be saved. Romans 10, 9, If you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord, believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. So, I hope you guys enjoy this video. That's proof right there. It's straight down from the Word of God. I found this at my apartment in 2014. It was actually in the um, shed, in my outdoor shed. At my apartment back in 2014. It's the Bible. New Life Version. Hope indeed. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. And I will talk to you later.